This video is brought to you by Squarespace. For websites, online stores, and a whole lot more, Squarespace brings you everything you need and more to craft your online community. Depending on where you've consumed the different types of media related to Batman, they all highlight the different aspects of Batman's character. Whether it be the detective work and fighting skills in the Arkham series, or the more violent brooding bat on the big screen, the comics that represent the pinnacle of the character, they all help in portray the incredibly complex character that is Batman. I want to focus on the animated universe version of Batman, and how through two simple moments, in two different animated series, portrayed Batman's compassion. Looking at the Heart of Ice episode of Batman the Animated Series, and Justice League Unlimited's epilogue. Heart of Ice follows Victor Freeze, better known as Mr. Freeze, in the pursuit of Ferris Boyle, the man who nearly killed him, and who ended the life of Freeze's wife, Nora. Mr. Freeze has always been, for me, one of the better of Batman's villains because of his tragic story, and how that story often brings out the most human side of the Bat. In this episode, Batman discovers what happened to Freeze, and he feels terrible. My God. He even apologizes to Freeze. Batman later helps bring Boyle to justice for the scientist, and even keeps an eye on him in his cell. We can often fall in love with the idea that Batman is heartless, that his pursuit of vengeance is even stronger than his own humanity, or that he isn't even human, that he is a cold-hearted monster. The idea that Bruce Wayne is the mask and his true identity is Batman. This idea could very well be true, and I do think it is true, but what the animated universe portrayal of Batman does so well is retain his humanity above anything else. He has compassion, even for his enemies. At the end of the day, he's trying to help them, trying to see them become better people, and he is trying to become a better person. But again, he is a man that is motivated by vengeance. This internal struggle between wanting to do anything for the mission and helping even his enemies is precisely what makes him human. And this episode shows this when he saves one of Freeze's henchmen, to which Alfred points out that the henchman wouldn't do the same for him. But that's the type of person that Batman is. He is justice just as much as he is vengeance and this conflict and symmetry between the two creates Batman. The season 2 finale of Justice League Unlimited had Amanda Waller reveal that she was the one who created Terry McGinnis and the Batman Beyond project because of how necessary Batman was to the world. And she tells Terry of the moment that made her realize this. As Ace of the Royal Flush Gang's illusions ran rampant, she needed to be killed before her aneurysm destroyed a city. Batman decides to be the one to do it because of the past that he and Ace shared. I said that we can fall in love with the idea that Batman is heartless, and even his own teammates do. No one even batted an eye when Batman needed to go kill a child. But it's in this moment where Batman's humanity is greater than any superpower. He didn't need to or even want to fight Ace. He needed and bravely decided to be vulnerable. He needed to let this little girl into his mind so she can see his true intentions, but also so she could see the past that they shared, how troubled he was. And when she tells him she's dying, again, Batman apologizes. When she tells him she's scared, he stays with her and even holds her hand until her death. Terry suggests that Bruce planned it all in advance, and we know how obsessive Batman can be and the lengths he could go to for the mission at hand, but that ignores how good of a person Batman can be and has shown to be. It ignores the idea that Batman walked into that situation without knowing the state Ace was in, and regardless of what the outcome was going to be, he wasn't going to kill her. Even if he had to die, he wasn't going to kill that girl. This moment paints Batman's greatest weakness as his strongest attribute. The fact that he is just a man, but with that fact, he more than anyone knows that life is precious, that the gift that is the present is priceless and is forever fleeting. 
He knows that everyone deserves it, whether it be Ace, Mr. Freeze, a Robin, or his parents. Sure, Ace caused trouble in this episode and in the past, but he knows exactly how she feels. He knows that Ace has never had anyone simply be a friend to her. He knows what it's like to be alone. His compassion is guiding him in this moment. He knows that she's never had anyone embrace her as she cried or to be by her side while she was scared. Everybody always feared her. But here Batman was fearless. He doesn't hesitate to sit by her side and to be a real friend. And now in death, the final thing she felt was the warmth of another's hand. The warmth of the cold-hearted Batman. Of all the Batman on screen, big or small, this is my favorite one. Because it's the most human. A big thank you goes out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an online platform that gives you access to anything you need to formulate your online image. Whether it's creating a website, selling a product, or building your brand, Squarespace has everything you need. I've been using Squarespace and it really does just take a few clicks and you can get your website running. They are extremely user friendly and have webinars, forums, and 24 hour support if you need it. They also offer award winning templates that can really suit your specific needs. So if you are interested in getting started, you can visit squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready, Head to squarespace.com slash sagesreign to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.